Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. So today I'll show you a new way of how to uh, install these monitors. Um, this new way you'll be able to use in all sorts of different systems, so if you're using Windows, Mac OS or Linux, and it's very simple, we're going to be using Git. So for those of you who don't know, Git is a version control system. Um, and you can install it quite easily using this documentation here. So with Linux you can use any of the um, package management tools that come with your distribution so for example with uh, any Debian based distribution you used apt. With macOS uh, the easiest way it mentions is to install the X command line tools uh, or you can install a more up-to-date version through this link here. Uh, with Windows you can go to this link here and then it mentions that the download will start automatically or you could uh, use the git chocolatey package. Um, but anyway, all the information sh is is here. And if you do get stuck, there are loads and loads of YouTube tutorials on how to install Git. Um, if you have any issues with that, but with that, uh, I'll show you how we can use it. So, Git, you have to you can use it in any command line, <coughs> so like uh, terminal or command prompt. I can show you that I've got it. Git that dash version, or tell me the version that I've got. I got version 2.3. So how do we use it? We want to clone the repo. So if you go into the repository, you click on the green button, it'll pop up with this, and you can copy this link here. Then we can go back into a terminal or command prompt, um, and then you want to clone the repo to a particular location. So I want to clone it to my desktop, so I can go CD desktop to get to my desktop, and then clone it here. So git clone and paste the link. It's that simple. Once I've clicked, when I click enter, I'll download it and it'll be on my desktop and I can show you that now. There it is. And then from there you can just uh, go into it. Um, and um, then change all the .m files to the, the various parameters that you want to set. And after that, you can just run the file quite easily. Run the Python file. So, for example, Supreme. Uh, let's have a look at our contents. I can change the .m file like this. Supreme.m. I can paste in my webhook there. Uh, put any proxies, keywords, even change some of the Discord features. So the username of the bot, the avatar URL, etc. And once I want to run it, I can just type in Python. Monitor.py because that's the name of the uh, Python file here. When I click enter, uh, it will start running. But uh, I don't want to run that right now. So, next, I want to just show you how you can do that on a Linux based system. So, again, you just do git clone and then paste the link there. I've already done it. If I click, if I type in ls, it'll list all the contents in the working directory that I'm in. Um, I can then move into that. Monitors. And then let's just check out Supreme again. So if I do ls, you may not see the .m file, but if I type in nano.m, it opens a text editor and I'm able to uh, edit the .m file directly uh, from here. So I can type in whatever I want here, change things. If I want to close it, you, you have to hit uh, Control X. If I want to save it, you click Y. File name to write, click .m, enter. And now the .m, the .m file will be saved as I left it. There we go. And you can do that with anything. So if I want to change the, the Python file, I can do Supreme, uh, nano supreme monitor .py and it's opened it up and I can change it directly here which is quite nice and then you can follow the some of the other tutorials on running um, the monitors which is very simple you just type in Python uh, and then the, the the Python file and it should start running um, and that's kind of that's basically it to be honest uh, there is a lot more information on how to do this at this website here uh, I've set this up. Um, if you click getting started, it tells you 
um, how to do all this, including how to clone it, how to set it up. Uh, I've also got other videos, uh, but also on the on this website, if you click on parameters, it'll tell you all the different parameters that you find in the .m file, how to set it up, uh, all the different details. Um, I used to have a free proxy service, which I will be implementing again soon. Um, and there's more details here. Um, and this is more monitor specific parameters for sneakers and for Nike sneakers uh, and some of the other monitors as well. But um, that's about it. Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, do comment if this worked for you and if it doesn't work just uh, let me know and we'll try and sort out any issues you, you face. But that's about it. Thank you very much.